All right there, welcome to the second episode of the Raspberry Pi Music Box project. Today we're going to install the software which will turn our Raspberry Pi into an amazing music box, into a great AirPlay server to which we will stream our music too. Uh, maybe you have, you know, something which are still cassette or CD player and we don't use these things anymore. We are in 2020. We want to connect wirelessly to our speakers and maybe to speakers because of the reason they are laying abandoned in the house. But today with this amazing music project, we're going to make them stream, make them 2020 again. So follow with me and let's get started. <laughs> All right, so during the last episode, we have flashed our SD card, we have connected the Raspberry Pi to the power, and we have connected the Raspberry Pi to the network. Today, we are finally connecting the Raspberry Pi to our stereo. The Raspberry Pi has a mini jack on one end, and we are going to connect to our stereo with this RCA cable. But sometimes, your stereo might also want a mini jack cable, in that case, you will buy a mini jack. Some other cases, you will have a large jack and a mini jack to the Raspberry Pi, so make sure you buy the right cable. This mini jack here and snapping them in. The RCA cable has two endings, as you see, one is white and one is red. One is the left channel and one is the right channel. So what you do is that you simply color match to the same endings you find on the other device. So white with white and red with red. All right, let's go back to our computer Let's fire up our terminal and let's connect again to the Raspberry Pi, just like we learned last time. SSH, PI, at address of our Pi, we hit enter and we get asked for a password. If you remember, we changed our password. So this time we have to type in the new password, which in my example was PI1234 bank. Now, to get things going, first thing we want to do is to test our speaker to make sure that we have connected our speaker correctly. So, to test our speaker, we just type speaker test minus T sign. This minus T sign will play a sine wave, which is a very distinct tone that you will be able to distinguish from the white noise. So, the moment we type enter, as you can hear, I get a sound playing from my Raspberry Pi and I get some messages in the background. This will keep on playing forever, which is not very nice. So to stop a command which is running in this terminal, I have to hit Ctrl and C. Now, the moment I hit Ctrl C, this terminates the running program and gives me back my shell access. All right, that was very exciting. We made our Pi produce a sound. Now, to move on, we will install a software which will take sounds from the network and output them to our speaker, turning our Raspberry Pi into an amazing music box. Now, the way you install the software on Linux is very, very easy. So you don't need to, you know, copy file, go on the internet, download. Installing this software, which is called SharePort, is super easy. We just type S-U-D-O, which stands for sudo, so super user operation. Let's type S-U-D-O, followed by apt dash get so this is getting software from the internet and installing on the pi automatically for us install right so the operation we want to do is install there is also of course the remove operation and the name of the software we want is called share port dash sync now you can also get autocomplete with tab let's type enter and you will see the Pi is going on the internet and looking for the software for us. We get a message that a lot of things need to be installed. It's no problem, we have plenty of space. So let's type yes, capital yes, enter, and let it go. All right, so in the surface, it might look like nothing has happened, but in reality, our Raspberry Pi is already accepting new connections. And now, to find out, if this really worked out, we just click on our speaker icon on the Mac. As you can see, I get a list of all the speakers in my house. And one of them just appeared right now and it's called Raspberry Pi. So let's click on it and let's put the volume to the maximum to play our first tutorial to the Raspberry Pi. And as you can see and hear, 
our Raspberry Pi is now routing our audio from YouTube. Let's stop this YouTube video and let's check out if we are even able to connect to our Raspberry Pi through our iPhone. So let's take our iPhone and let's go on the settings center here. Let's type the AirPlay icon and as you can see amongst the various speakers in this house, one of them is called again Raspberry Pi. So we click on it and again we go on YouTube, this time on the iPhone, we search for the very same video that we have on the computer, hit play, and as you can hear, this video is playing again through the sound of our speaker. All right, great achievement. We turn our Raspberry Pi into an amazing music box that you can stream your music to. Now, there's more than you can do than just uh, using the mini jack of the Raspberry Pi. Let's say you want to improve the quality of the sound. One thing you can do is you can simply connect an external USB card to your Raspberry Pi and use that to connect the audio instead of the integrated mini jack. This will require some fiddling around with the SharePoint output but it's nothing complicated because Linux supports plug and play. You will be ready to go in a matter of minutes. Now, for more advanced topic, actually, let's say, for example, that you want to put some equalization on your sound. You want more bass, so you want more high, you want more treble, you want more mid, you want less mid. Whatever you want to do, there's actually a software which is called Jack. Jack is a connection kit which typically runs in real time on your Linux box. So what you will do if you install Jack, which is a pretty advanced topic, what you can do is that you can route your output not directly to your speakers, but you can route your output to modular units where you can apply effects and you can get amazing sounds out of it. But this is a more advanced topic. All right, that's it for today. Smash the like button if you liked the video, subscribe for more, and leave me a comment what you think about it. Like, for example, are you interested in more advanced topics like check on a Raspberry Pi? Let me know in the comment section. See you in the next one.